first one nx can supply sigma tau okay so let us see n sub x equal to cos 60 degrees 60 times pi over 180 please remember uh, sin 60 times pi so let us in fact let us make our life easier we don't want to keep writing this over and over again so we got to put theta equals 60 so what is this this is the angle made by the normal with the x axis so let me write this down so that it's clear to you Oops. angle made very normal with x axis so that's this guy so this will be cos this equal to cos this times pi over 180 this sine of this sorry, equal to sine 60 that's not right equal to sine of this times pi over 180 so now we are ready sigma is equal to sigma xx times this one squared 2.5 megapascal tau equals sigma xx times this times that that's it so let's make sure we know the formulae and we know how to use them right so I'm going to write it up here so this is cos theta sine theta this one is sigma xx nx squared this one is sigma xx nx ny okay so now let's look at the next one got this right so what I would like you to do is look at this face now I'll show you which face I'm talking about look at this face okay so remember you have to give me cosine along the positive x-axis so the normal to this face is like this so the x-axis is like that so can you see the cosine the angle is that much so here I go I want to write this down theta is is it obvious to you that if you know one angle the, all the others are just 90 degrees away you know what I mean just add 90 to it so 60 plus 90 is 150 so that's what we are going to use okay so it's a fairly simple thing so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to write 150 and then done oops I'm going to extend this down 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 Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Oh, I know what it is 
D188 is okay, D185 is not okay. This one goes all. No why? Because I want to use the same number, sigma xs again. So there you go. Very nice. So the next one, theta. Let's see. You add another 90 degrees to it. Now this time it's a different, different. I'll show you which face I'm talking about. Let's pick a different color. Let's pick a like a deep maroon here. That one, the normal is like that. Can you see it's another 90 degrees? So you are just going to clock it by 90 degrees. That's all. If you know one say face, all the other face are clocked by 90 degrees. That's all you have to do. You can see how simple this is. So we go up here and we say okay, 150 plus 90. 150 plus 90 is 240. Easy, so I go up here, pull this down, that will give me that, that will give me that, that will give me that, and that will give me that. I want you to notice that things which are 180 degrees apart will give you the same answer. This and this, this and this are the same because they are 180 degrees apart. Because cos 180 plus theta and sin 180 plus theta will all turn out to be the same. So that's why, okay. And then the last one, you don't even have to look at the picture, add another 90 degrees to this, right. So 240 plus 90, 330. And you don't even have to do the calculations, you will know what the angles are going to be. They will be like that. Sorry. So they will be like that and you expect the stress to be 7.5 and the stress to be minus 4.33. So let me draw this and you will see what I mean. Here is the cube right. Here is the rectangle right like this. So the forces are going to be two point five four point three. Then the next one, I'm gonna pick a different color. Try and match the color on that red, red. So this one will be the normal stress is seven point five. Oh, I picked red color here. The so normal stress is going to be 7.5 and the shear stress, notice the directions, okay, is going to be minus 4.33, that means the shear stress uh, is this way, 